Darien Lake theme park, camping resort. Now yet another park in the middle of nowhere. But we're here. Okay, we're inside Darien Lake and uh, this looks like one of the walkways. It doesn't look like a very big park, but it got a couple of pretty nice sized looking roller coasters. So we're gonna head over that way and see what we can find. A very pretty spot. This is a Kodak moment spot here with the flowers and everything. Little souvenir shops. And you can see the rocks. I don't know, this is part of the landscaping they do here, but it looks very rustic. Very nice little park. Adventureland, here's a little spot just for the kids. We're gonna go in there and check that out. The proudest part of the park today seems to be this Barracuda Bay thing, this water slide area that they've got. I'm going through the fence here, so it's a little tough to, to pan around. Step back. You can see there's an awful lot of line here for the, the wet rides because it is kind of a warm day. But luckily the rides for the, the lines for the coasters aren't, aren't bad at all. Just gonna shoot down the looks like the main runway, the main uh, attraction. You can see it in the in the background a big wonder wheel. We're gonna try to go on that with the camera. And they have your gift shops and everything. And we're gonna explore. Big uh, spaghetti house. This place has more places to eat than any park I've ever been in. And more places to eat than they have rides. There's an ice cream parlor place, nothing but ice cream. I'm impressed with the number of food stands. Of course, we picked a bad place. We got a piece that was pretty bad. Place that has sell fried dough. What it is, I don't know. I don't think I want to know. But it's a prominent food stand here. Uh, it's a unique ride. It looks like a paratrooper ride, but it really isn't. It, it does sort of the same thing the paratrooper does. It looks a, just a little bit different. In fact, this doesn't even have a name. Interesting. Sorry, it does have a name. It's called the Haymaker. Why they call it that, I don't know, but we're in rural New, uh, New York, so maybe that's why the Haymaker. Well, here you have your uh, stands, your games, and they have one real cute game we're going to have to get a close-up on. It's like a little caterpillar that runs around. We're going to have to get that. I've never seen anything like it. Over there right you see gyros. They got, man, they got the food stands here. They have their version of the Enterprise. I guess just about every park in the world has one. This one looks like it's spinning a little bit faster, a lot faster than the Enterprise. And it's finally going to go up. What well, that thing's really moving. Wow. It's going a little bit too fast. building here, antique photos, plus thirst quenchers. There's always something to eat or drink here. This is a relatively new park. I think it was built in 1964. There's a uh, shirt gift shop place. Wing ride here is just about ready to run. Another uh, picture of most parks, a swing ride. And I'm seeing a bit of uh, sausage house. Boy, another place to eat. This is a folk tag game. They had this thing at uh, Dorney. When we first went up there. You, you get in this little thing and you're shooting tennis balls at some kind of target. Seems to be only one in there right now. Firing away at something, then you can fire back at him or uh, didn't last too long out the door. Or Kennywood. Kennywood I think has something like that. See all over the park have these pretty flower vases everywhere, even by the garbage cans. You can see it's uh, it's just immaculate this park. There's a pizza place. There's a very clean, new park. It's a ride called the Crazy Quilt. See my left here. Uh, looks like a ride that uh, we've been on before. These rides seem to be an awful lot faster. I'm getting an awful lot older. I don't know. But the ones we rode at uh, another park, I think Cedar Point had one of these. It was kind of slow. This one here is really, really, really moving. The main reason we uh, decided to come to Darien Lake is the Predator Wooden Roller Coaster. It is a terrific mid-sized coaster. We really enjoyed it. I'll try to get some footage of it for you. You can see the Predator at the top of the hill now. We're going to try and follow this as best we can. I, I don't know if we're going to get or what we're going to get on this thing, but it's beautiful. It's right on the lake. I don't know if you can make out the lake in the background or not. This is one terrific ride for a mid-sized coaster. back around. Nice curve, real nice curve here. Is that it? 
That is the Predator. It's worth the trip. Uh, we'll come around now and it'll come back into the station. Very good ride. The Predator at Darien Lake. Looking down the one midway here, this is another little side street, sort of. Almost looks like a Chinese place here. I can't walk. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. And over here they have a carousel, getting ready to run. Looks like a newer one. It's a ride called the Sea Storm. Looks like just one of the, uh, a musical ride that, that Kennywood has. It's, Where's that Geauga Lake? I'm not sure. It's just a little enclosed ride. But it's funny the way they, they come up with the names. Different parks have different names. Sea Storm. There's another eatery place, the Ange Country Chicken. I can't get over how many places there are to eat around here. It's unbelievable. They got more places to eat than rice. Part of Darien Lake itself, you rent these little paddle boats if you want. You hear the seagulls. Yeah, you can see the seagulls. There they are. There they are. You hear them? Yeah. You can take a nice little paddle boat ride, but it's a little bit too warm to do that. In the back of those stands, looks like there's an auto racing ride. Yeah, it looks like there's an auto racing ride back there. That's the wrong way. Does that look like? Yeah. Yeah, like an antique auto race. Well, this is like a boardwalk thing, only this is like a sub shop. Curly Q fries. The hamburger Hamlet. The house of beef. Charcoal boil hot dog. This is all places to eat. It's, it's amazing. I thought it was like an arcade or something. That's a, just eatery. Unbelievable. And I'm going to pan over here to the left. They claim this is the second highest wheel in the world. Ferris wheel. The second highest. I don't know where the first one will be, but they claim this is the second highest. They could be right. I try to get a better shot of it. Yeah, here we are again at this Wonder Wheel. Boy, that thing is big. There's the top. All the way down to the bottom. There's a fence or something in the way, but boy, you can see that thing. The second biggest one in the world. Wonder Wheel. Well, Tester's no stand here. Uh, they're, they're pretty familiar, but I'll show you something I never saw in the park before. A pirate ship. They got two of them actually. One actually goes all the way around, but this one doesn't. That's the tamer of the two. And as I pan to the left, you see out there in the lake, kids are paddle boating. They get a shop that sells nothing but mozzarella sticks, mushroom, and onion rings. I'd say it's unbelievable how many eateries they have. The one, icy balls, and funnel cakes. And we had to pick a pizza place that was lousy. I still can't get over there. Lakeview Arcade and Gift Shop. I guess we'll have to go in there and see if they have any uh, pinball machines. Little places, these are little park benches you sit on. There's a guy, there's a maintenance man there taking care of the flowers. They have so there are many flowers in this park. It's really pretty. You see the walkways and over here there's some more flowers. Place to sit down in uh, Darien Lake itself. Portrait place. You can get your portrait. Oh, yeah, Little girl who's ready to paint your portrait for you. Okay. That's kind of a handy right there. Well, they got a taco place. I mean, why well, not? They got everything else. They got a pumper car. Right here. Looks like a little more newer car, y'all, brand new. Some of them look brand new compared to the ones at uh, Baltimore yesterday. We'll have to come over and try the pumpkin car. Here's a guy swinging a sledgehammer. Remember these in the old days? He used to try to bang the thing and try to ring the bell. Oh, I don't know what's in the discovery shop. I'll tell you a gift shop. A little shooting gallery here, something like Kennywood has by the log, right? This is the Viper, a steel coaster with five inversions. We'll see if we can get on the Viper. There comes the Viper. It's unique. They have gray cars. Usually the steel coasters are very brightly colored cars, but this is the gray with the red uh, stripe across it. I don't know if we can follow this or not. Through the trees and through the loops. A lot of turns. A couple of twists down here. 
It's pretty hard with all the uh, trees and everything. But it's one of the gentlest uh, coasters we've ridden. Dog room. I guess that's hot dogs. I don't know. But I'd say it's amazing. I, I can't get over how many eateries they have here. It's a chance. Ski ball. I know Marsha really likes the ski ball. We'll have to give it a shot. There's another shot of the Viper. I'm trying to get different angles on it. It's, it's kind of hard with everything. Uh, but it makes five turns. That's enough. It's, it's about the mildest steel coast you've ever been on, surprisingly. Because it kind of stops right here for a minute. See, and it's, you take a little break right there and then it finishes up a couple more upside downers there. Of course you do. Do you want to give it a try? That is the Viper. Right smack dab in the middle of the place. That's when he put the shows on. Right in the middle of the midway. You don't have to go uh, too far. Of course, there ain't too many places to sit down, but you got a country and western show here. That's amazing. Right, right in the middle of the park. Right in the middle of the walkway. You can see here. They set up a little stage, and that's where they put their shows on. Right in the middle of the joint. This is called a UFO. Just go right. I don't know what the heck it does, it just goes around, I guess. That is what you call the UFO ride. Over there, UFO. Right next to us, another place to eat, big different kind. This is another shot looking down another part of the midway away from the Country and Western show. You can see hot sauce. Oh boy, I think it's on the seat. Over there, that's where we got our pizza. Then. We sat over there and ate the lobby thing after we had a wait for a while. But there it goes. We another place. Onion rings, cheese sticks, all by. And game places. Try to win a prize. I gotta show you that other thing though. It's about 2000. This is their indoor show. Their indoor movie thing they have. Grizzly Run is their uh, equivalent to Kenny Woods Raging Rapids ride. I can't see a place to get a shot at. If I can, I will. This is the Ranger. This is one we're all going to pass on. We tried this before at, uh, or the family did. I think it was King's Dominion. This looks like a pirate ship ride, but it's uh, not quite. It goes back and forth like a pirate ship ride, doesn't it? But look at there. It goes all the way around, gang. Lord have mercy. And it's going around again. Oh boy. Upside down. Nah, we'll, the Ranger. We'll pass on it. I can't get a lot of this Raging Rabbit ride except right about here. So we're going to get pretty wet. This is the end of the ride, too, so imagine what they went through uh, to get to point B here. So now nah, I just can't get, a, get in to get anything. Part of, this is a quiet part of Darien. Part of, I guess, Darien Lake. It looks like it's, the lake's divided into a whole bunch of. You see picnic tables over there, but luckily it's not a very crowded day today. Peaceful looking place. Darien Lake, in the middle of nowhere. It's called the Sleigh Ride. And it's uh, another like Music Express thing that Kennywood has, but if you look at the top, you can see the Christmassy type, winter type setting. And I guess that's where they got the name Sleigh Ride. Very Here we go. interesting. Come on up if you're in it. Bring All the, the Sleigh Ride. Okay. Some more of your games, sack balloon, heart dart, speed ball, and caterpillar. What is caterpillar? We didn't know, we had no idea. I'm going to zoom in here and find out. The caterpillars keep going around. What do you get like as a fishing pole with a magnet on it? And at the top of those little, you see the green one there, those little yellow things? You pick one of them up, and whatever's underneath that lid, you get the prize. So you get a little fishing pole thing like, like the girl has in her hand. See, she has it. And you just hold it over there and you try to latch onto one of those little yellow hickeys. And whatever's under you, want like a small prize. You can see the prizes there. Never seen nothing like that. It's a caterpillar. This is her uh, log ride. And uh, it's a little bit different from uh, any other log ride. I'll show you why. The difference is they have a little drop. This guy's going down a little drop. That's the one we got wet on. And you come over here, they got the big drop, and uh, there was hardly anything at all. But we were quite surprised when we got through that little, we, we little one, and we could pop, boom, we got it. And we were expecting it worse when we come off of this one, but you, as you can see, they're uh, 
wasn't that much of a splash. So. We got wet, we cooled off. It was nice. Place potato works, nothing but potatoes. They have eateries. I, I, can't, I still can't get over how many places they have the eater on here. You exit off a ride or something, yeah, and there's the beautiful flowers, and you can sit right there on these benches. It's a very pretty park. Even on that potato place I just showed you there, there's hanging baskets of flowers. This is really nice. Little drop, that first drop on that uh, log ride I was telling you about. That's the one we got the wettest on. And this is cool, you go through a tunnel. Not many log rides go through a tunnel. Of course, uh, Darien Lake ain't the best smelling place in the world to be. Got a nice long tunnel loader to go through and you better hold your nose. Here's another ride. Smaller ride. Swing away ride. You can see the trees. They got a lot of trees in this park. You go around. Very pretty park. I look past the Viper and the one walkway here. I have to get down to meet my family now. We're very surprised at this park, how clean it is, how many eateries they have, how new it is. It was worth coming out of the way for. Now I'm glad we did because it has a couple terrific coasters. And I have to go now to the uh, Wonder Wheel to see it there in the background, find the rest of the gang, and see what's up. There's your golf course here too. I didn't even notice it, it's right in the middle of the park. You see how pretty it's built. I mean, this is a cheap looking set here. I mean, they got all the wood and the flowers and the, the trees. The shrubs. Well, pan over here. It looks like they even have a little covered bridge you walk over. Wow, see if I can get this is part of the miniature golf thing. You got a little bridge across over to boy, this is pretty. I wonder what the cost them to build something like this. I mean, this is really, really this is the nicest miniature golf thing I ever saw. Wow. They went all out. This is more of the water ride area, Barracuda Bay or Cuda Bay, whatever they call it. They don't have a pool, it's just mostly these big giant slides, and we're not up to that, so. But a lot of people are. I think there's more people here than there are uh, riding our rides. It's a nice day for it, perfect day to do either either one. Very nice park. I've been, I've been to a lot of places, but this is the first time I ever saw Chinese food. Sweet and sour. Chicken, oriental vegetables, beef, pepper. Well, here we are. Darien Lake, kind of tired, ready to leave. We all had a good time. Say goodbye. Okay. It's September 2nd or 3rd, 1999. I'm not quite sure which day it is, but I know I'm in uh, Darien Lake. And this park has changed immensely. I'm not gonna try to film the whole thing. I don't have the time in any way. It's about 85 degrees and there ain't a cloud in the sky. But I'll get the new coasters. This is uh, called the Mind Eraser. It's the exact same thing as the Serial Thriller in Geauga Lake, as you can see. It's a two-car train operation, uh, basically, uh, two-seater inverted. I think they were talking about trying to make it a Batman or something, but I don't know if that's going to work or not for these people. But it's a decent ride. It's a short ride. I say it's exactly the same as the one in uh, Geauga Lake. So we rode it. There, uh, we got a break. It's not very, very many people here. That's one of them. I got a couple more to show you. The second coaster they've added is uh, a boomerang. A typical out back. Boomerang, nothing special. In fact, jog like a lot of parks have. I think this goes out, it goes up the hill again, and it comes down. There's nothing really special about it. I'm not going to go walking all the way up here to film it. But it's a boomerang. It's not in this bag. It looks like it's empty. You know, so there's nobody on it. Whatever. That's not why we came. That's the boomerang. Now we'll go down to. See the big coaster. Okay, there's the Predator. Five years ago I bragged about this thing, how good it was. Well, it ain't that good anymore. It got lousy. We took two front seat rides and that was it. But this is the reason we came. Superman Ride of Steel. And I gotta admit, it's the best steel coaster I've ever been on. It's fast, it's smooth, it has air time. 
I love the special seats they have on it. I'm going to try to walk with it, see if the car should be coming out, see if I can show you what the uh, cars look like. This is fantastic. I never thought I could ever say I'd, I could ride a steel coaster all day and wouldn't bother me, but this one I could. I mean, it's so open, too, you can just imagine being in that front seat right there. See how open that is. That is one heck of a ride, boy. And it zips you up to the uh, lift hill. There's no more clank, 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 clank going up the lift hill. It just takes you in. Uh, it's a two train uh, operation, but you can see how fast that thing's going up the lift hill. Almost like an elevator lift. See? And it don't play around. When I get to the top of the hill, that other car will be coming back, and it's a fast turnover. It gets to the top of the hill. I'll try to get more of the ride. Yeah, through the trees and everything, you can see the quay line. They're, they're out in the sun. I mean, if there were people here, we'd be dead. But as you can see, you just walk right up to the ride. you got to wait a little for the front car naturally. But I mean, there, there's nobody here. This place is empty, and this is a fantastic ride. Daily Planet Food Store. Well, it don't look like a food store, it's a pesky place. As you panorama the Predator again, but we're not going to do that. Okay, I'm going to try to get it coming down. I wanted to get behind that tree, but I didn't. It goes through a misty thing. Okay, let's try this again. There is the Predator, which I bragged about five years ago, which I can't do anymore. But you can hear this hardly, you don't hear a lift chain, you don't hear nothing. I'm going to try to follow this. This is probably nuts. Somewhere in that mess, okay. Here we go. That is, I never thought I'd love a steel coaster. This, this is it. Fantastic. Lost a diner somewhere, but trust me, it's a good long ride. Airtime, speed, and those lap bars or something make you feel like you're falling out of it. You can see it keeps going back or further, and it's starting to come back now. And it slams into the station, too. It just doesn't stop when it comes into the station. Little helix, double helix. Just a second. I mean, this slams into the station. Fantastic coaster. Great, 